What's up, y'all? Sparty here. So for this video, I'm going to be doing something similar to what I've been doing with the photo like comparisons between the iPhone 12 Pro Max and, you know, other phones that I've been doing it with. But for this video, it's going to be do comparing the 4K 60 footage or not comparing, but looking at the 4K 60 frames per second footage on the iPhone. Now, why I'm doing it in a screen recording and not doing it, like, say, just uploading the video itself is mainly because of the fact that <laughs> the, I, the, the, the quality of the video on the iPhone is very good. I'm not going to say that it isn't otherwise. But the problem with that is that much like, say, the LG V60, it's not, it records such <laughs> really nice video that... YouTube doesn't support all of these, like, features. Like, it doesn't really support 10-bit. It doesn't support Dolby Vision. It doesn't support any of that stuff, really. So the problem that, se the problem that always tends to happen is that the contrast tends to be very bad. And while I could edit that and just make it that way, I always tend to mess it up. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to show you guys the footage and I'm a go and I'm a sh and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think in terms of how it looks and stuff like that and overall the sound and the issues that I see I didn't see these issues while I was recording but when I was playing it back that's when I saw a lot of these issues so let me go into it here so as you guys can see the frame is a little bit wobbly right there and it doesn't really look in terms of looks it doesn't really look all that bad but what i've been noticing quite a bit with the iphone and why i was constantly looking up and looking to the center of the frame was that i was looking for exposure stepping and pulsing which was an issue with the iphone 12 pro a little bit when i first had it now keep in mind when i had the 12 pro it was basically the launch week when it when it first came not launch week but when it first came out and you do see it a little bit here where the frame is shaky but it, and it's also pulsating here right and this is a lot of what this, what I see a lot is that a lot of reviewers don't even say anything about this, right? They just record like a, a, a quick 10 to 15 second clip and they put, put it in their video and they say, this is fantastic, right? This is the best video that a phone can do. Sure, on paper, it's the best a phone can do. But as you guys can see, there's a lot of pulsating. There's a lot of like, <laughs> it's not great. The colors are really good. I don't have any problem with the colors. The stabilization could be better. It's no V60, but it gets the job done. But a lot of what I see when it comes to this is the fact that um, there's a lot of... The, the frame is not stable. It looks very... It looks very v 20 ish where back in the day this would kind of be an issue where now i'm getting a lot of notifications where with the state with the you know with the electronic image image electronic image stabilization on you would get this frame smearing kind of thing right but with this phone in particular what you'll see is that and, and let me go like let me go like right here when I start to go and look at like, say, lens dots and stuff like that, that you will see. As you guys can see right there, that little green dot that's floating around, that's the lens dot. You guys will see it better when I go to this next light, but you could also see it right here, right? That's indeed an issue when you're when you're looking at video. Um, you got like the frame again is shaky and you get more lens dots right there. Um, let me go down. And this is where, and this is where I kind of see a lot of what I feel is an issue. You see how the color temperature changes quite a bit right there too. That's very weird. Like that's kind of weird to me. It gets cooler than it gets warmer constantly. 
Now, that's just me messing with the exposure, so don't mind that. Because I was going to show you guys, yeah, you could just tap on the screen, then lower the exposure with the bar that's right there. Um, well, as you guys can see, it gets super dim. And the temp the color temperature on, like, the grass in particular. Now, here's the thing. The grass isn't, like, super green. It's pretty much the color that you see right here. But the problem that I'm seeing with this phone in particular is that... um. It's it like the color temperature changes drastically between frames and it's not flattering at all. It kind of looks, it doesn't look great. That looks really nice right there. In terms of what I'm doing here, this looks really quality. Um, that looks fine. But then what I do is that I go over to the selfie camera and the selfie video I actually don't have a problem with. I think this is totally fine. Um, colors are nice. The exposure of the background is kind of much. It's a bit much how they do it, but it's serviceable. As I show you guys right here, you can tap and focus on the thing and then expose for the background. And that's pretty much it. Then I go to the wide angle lens here. And this is where I see a lot of issues, right? Where you see this kind of like changing effect between on the background and on the foreground it kind of looks holographic and it's kind of unflattering and i point i literally point right there to show you guys what i'm talking about i'll actually play to let you guys know what i'm saying so <sighs> if you can't zoom into 2.5 or 3 which does indeed which kind of sucks but you know it's whatever i do think this looks really nice it looks really clean um i the audio, the audio exposure is decent. I think it's about on par with everything else on the market. It does look a bit weird, though. Like, say, say right there, right? Right where it's brightened up right there. When you move a little bit, the color temperature, cha cha it, it looks kind of, it, it morphs. It's kind of weird. But I don't know if any other phone does that. I don't have my V60 or my S20 FE on me, but that looks kind of off. But it's fine. It's a like it looks very it looks like those holographic covers or those holographic cards you get where it, it changes into a into a different thing it looks very off to me that's why it was very off putting i've never seen any other phone do that and it just kind of threw me off but overall i feel like i said there's a lot of things about this in particular that i want to talk about because a lot of reviewers just say, oh, it's the best phone on the market in terms of video con creation, content creation, all this stuff. But then they don't look at these kind of things here, right? They don't look at exposure stepping. They don't look at pulse, like the frame pulsating. They don't look at color shifting the way the color was shifting there right now. They don't look at any of that stuff. They just say, oh, it just looks amazing for the 15 seconds they decide to shoot a shoot a clip and that's it and to me that's why i feel they're being a bit disingenuous because they're not really testing these things they're just doing one thing comparing it to one phone and saying it's better than that one phone oh but if it but if someone in the comments brings up an lg or a huawei like you look i know you guys have an lg a sony or a huawei but we're just talking about these phones here and it's like okay then why review phones if you're just gonna talk about the <laughs> if you're just gonna talk about the same two phones just be a just be a Samsung and I Apple channel just do that you're not really a tech reviewer at that point you're just a Samsung and Apple reviewer and th this is what I mean by I haven't noticed any of these things on any of my phones until I started using this phone and seeing these issues and it's kind of weird where. I don't necessarily think the iPhone 12 Pro Max has terrible video output. That's not what I'm trying to say. I think it has very good video output. But the problem is you could clearly see what these issues are. Whereas if I were to do this exact same thing on my V60, it might have it a little bit. And I probably even have videos to even look at to see if those things are indeed there. And... I just don't see them because it wasn't 
it either wasn't that it wasn't that drastic or wasn't it wasn't that drastic or it wasn't there at all but that's all i really want to talk about with this um in terms of what the 12 pro max can do it's a very powerful phone it's a very capable phone I don't feel this is necessarily the best. In terms of the mics, I feel the mics are really good. They're not as good as the S20 FE. The S20 FE has better noise reduction, and I think the quality of the mics are indeed better on the S20 FE. But in terms of like overall output, I feel the iPhone is very good. I would indeed use it, but I don't know if I would use it in terms of being outside for vlogging simply because of these issues here. Now, if they fix these issues, which I will indeed talk about, which will, I will talk about over time, if they if they fix these issues, then OK, cool. But in terms of right now, I'm not really seeing anything that would make me say this is the best camera on the market. I just don't see it. Um, this is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday or whatever time of day it is in the area. Have a good one.